Hi, I'm Yash, and today I'll be painting only with the fan brush and demonstrate the various uses of fan brush. So let's get started. These are the colors which I'm going to be using for this tutorial. Now with number two fan brush, I'll take in just a tinge of white, some green, touch of yellow ochre, and if you want, you can add in some blue and mostly brown and black more of black so with that color i'll go ahead and drop in just on maybe it's too windy today and this is a coconut tree something like that another one over there that's just a basic reference now with another number two fan brush i'll just go ahead to get those fine detailings with the corner of the brush just pull down some of those just like that and as you go in inside that tree it's going to get denser Again, another one like that you know, just hold it and just flick it outward or inward depends the position of the tree and then just drop in some individual leaves just like that for this you need to thin down the paint a bit okay like that another one now it's gonna come off like that okay okay and maybe another one it's gonna come off like that look at that i like that effect barely touching the surface that creates a lot of texture now let's go ahead and drop in the tree trunk for this using the same brush no not changing the brush let's go and do another type of tree uh, that will be highlighted once it's dry for this you need to have in some basic shape i'll create that basic shape just like that just tapping it just tapping it and leaving some negative spots i'm imagining that the sky is clear so leaving some negative spots and some over there too i'm using that same color with number two fan brush i've changed to another number two fan brush okay tap it harder and fill it dense okay now with some brown and cad yellow on the brush i'll go over here and you know just barely touching the surface barely touching the surface and don't overdo this just going once and create individual leaves okay and over here to change the angle of the brush just like that something like that another one's gonna come off like that just flick it and leave a lot of negative spots and create some individual leaves just like that and then tap it or blend them together in the middle now with this very corner of the brush just taking the brush and tap in some individual leaves this creates a very natural effect in your painting instead of getting that generalized look you can go for this detailed look also in your painting but if this is very far this technique is not going to work because you need to have lack of detailing if you want the elements of your painting to look far of course you have to make use of some certain colors okay and then maybe create some shapes just like that over there okay and just tap it and blend them together and some over here over here 
I'll just you know just tap it just tapping it and go ahead with the finger just to create some variations in the shapes in the color and the value just gonna tap it from the corner of the brush and don't do this everywhere leave some negative spaces come outside your sketch okay like that now with the highlight color I'll go over here and you know just drop this color over here too it's just over there another one over here too and then another one comes off like that and this is going to be very limited this highlight color is going to be very limited just tap it in the middle with that same color and go ahead and highlight this part of this tree that just like that and you know you can just tap it don't do too much of tapping and maybe some over here to just indicate something's happening over there Okay, and then I'll drop in and I'll show you how to do grasses just tap it look at that I'm going to leave some negative spots that is a dark if I had not painted anything underneath that I would have gone ahead with some darker color then would have painted this one look at that you just get that grass very instantly super valuable effect just like that with another number two fan brush I'll just you know go ahead with some pine tree so for that you need to just block it in as it's gonna come towards the bottom you'll get bigger okay something like that at the top I'll use another number two fan brush for that I need to have a defined edge just like that and you know just from the corner very corner or the very edge of the brush just gonna tap it in okay I get hundreds and thousands of leaves look over here here no, just by tapping very lightly look at that I'll create another look at that I'm getting it over there and that's that's gonna make it look very natural Okay, like that, and you know, and let's go ahead and highlight this one. For that, you know, you can just tap it very lightly, very, very gently, barely touching it. Okay, just like that. I have to go real quick because I have to also blend it. Okay, like that. Now I've wiped off my brush and I'll just go ahead with this just like that you know change the angle of the brush and if you want to have another type of grass I'll show you it's just to flick it up just like that so just flicking it up helps a lot And make the edges very defined of each blade of grass so now let's say you want to paint mid-ground bushes so for that I'll just drop in some basic shape okay something like that make it very irregular look at that that irregular shape helps okay something like that now with the mid-tone color I'll just go and you know drop in some texture on these bushes that, just tapping it 
don't give too much details because this is not a foreground bush it's mid ground bush look at that so i've taken a lighter color opened up the bristles and i'm just gonna tap it almost in the corner okay like that bring it a bit outward and something like that over there too this is mid ground so i'll just go ahead and drop in the grass very flat make it look neat that just like that and if you want to you know you can just go ahead and just tap it here and there very lightly and tap it with your finger and i'll go ahead with this and just you know give it some texture okay another way to paint grass is to load the brush one in one complete side and to just hold it and just you know flick it flick it upwards that's just like that use other corner use other side rather that that helps and if you want you can create like that now some highlight color i'll go over here and you know just drop it in just some over there i don't want it to be everywhere i'm just gonna tap it just tapping it create those extra plates of grass so i was waiting for this to dry and let's go ahead and you know just drop in the highlight part of this mid ground grass remember these are mid ground grass so you can just indicate it by just a rubbing okay just you know and just blending these all together now we here I'll just you know go ahead with some highlight color Look at that, the more you tap, the more color is going to come off the brush. And don't make the bottom that well defined. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and highlight this pine tree. Just like that and then just tapping it from the very corner of the brush. That, that helps. To create that beautiful effect okay and then just tapping it and over here too i'll just you know drop in some highlight to these grass that now i've taken in some brown color along with that green Let's go ahead and drop in a rock, just like that. I'll show you how you can achieve that foreground texture in a rock. Taken in some blue and black without cleaning the brush, and you know, just gonna drop it like that. I've gently wiped off my brush in order to retain some of that paint, dark paint on the brush, darker color. Just gonna tap it and to create that rockiness on this rock. That cracks on the rock is can be achieved very well with a fan brush. Now without cleaning the brush, I've loaded some white and I've opened up the bristles. And maybe, you know, let's come over here and tap very gently very very gently and just like that it may be it's a mossy rock I've loaded more of white and you know let's go over here for white I'm using acrylics so they'll dry a bit dull 
and maybe over here too just a touch we want it to be like one single color maybe over here too and we can smooth some of those edges like that with that that creates that crackishness on that rock we'll take it on the other side that there i've taken more of black opened up the bristles and just going to tap it over here just to create that effect that and if you want you can just tap it over here to just a bit to make it look natural that you get instant rock there and if you want you can just tap it over here and blur the bottom or the base of the rock it's like that so it's a gray color without cleaning the brush i'll just drop in a a slanting line like that and i'll drop in some of this okay and then it'll flow over there this is water to hold this we need couple of rocks okay like that and i'll drop in a couple of rocks over here too like that maybe another rock over there and another one over here too fairly darker in the corners to reflect those rocks or very lightly and very gently bring that rock a bit down just taken in some white without cleaning the brush and I'll drop this white over here just you know like that you also blend this by just giving some taps that is like that hmm. now I've loaded thick paint thick white paint and let's come over here and you know just drop it like that let's come over there let's you know, drop it and barely touching the surface and push that back and that's going to be the source and over here to I'll just drop it in. With that white, I went into some black and you know, just dropping in the reflections. Maybe there are huge trees there. Okay, another there too. That makes it look extremely natural. Now I've cleaned the brush and for the final highlight, I'll just go over here just bring it down like that and follow the direction maybe it's going to get divided over here i don't want this to be everywhere and over here it will get brighter yeah and i'll just drop in that highlight color over here and if you want to indicate some moss growing on the rocks next to the water just tap it this is foreground stuff this element this complete thing is a foreground stuff so you can you're free to add detailings something there and some over here too and just tap it when the paint is wet make sure that the tapping is done wherever it's required let's come over okay. here and just drop in some more detailings to this With the very corner of the brush and just tap it over here to tap it with the very corner of the brush 
to get those fine detailings of the foliage. That, just like that, leaving some spots, skipping some spots will also help. Just like that. And I'll go ahead and highlight this one too. This is a mid ground element. So be very careful. Just tap it, and that's about it. I'm dropping this. Okay. Now the grayish green color. I'll just show you how you can add an instant grass in the foreground. Just tap it and pull it. Just tap it and pull it. You can even make use of this technique to paint in cliffs far off cliffs just like that and just pulling it if you want you can just do the opposite so as you're doing it down do it upwards and they'll stand taller okay so with this i come to the end of this video i hope i've added some value to your knowledge and thanks for watching